troubling us? Are they not disturbing us? You know, why will I be fasting and praying now? Why do I even, why should we even pray? That's what we are going to look at. You know, a wise man said this, and I want to quote it as the wise man said it. He said, until the purpose of a thing is properly known, hear me, abuse of such a thing will be inevitable until the purpose of a thing is proper. If a person does not understand the purpose of something, they will abuse it. They will abuse it. Now, you notice in the service yesterday, I came to chase somebody and I was using the, uh, the, the sob as drum set. The, the, the drummer was playing drums and he was playing his own on the sob. No, that's not a drum. That's not drum. It's not a beating drum. So I had to go there to chase him out of there. No, you can't stay there. You can't be beating that thing. Now, it's an abuse of that thing. So if people don't understand the reason for prayer, and you keep talking, and you keep talking, you keep talking, they won't pray. Do you know that there are so many Christians who don't know the reason, the reason for prayer and fasting? They see it as disturbance. That's why when we mention prayer and fasting in church, you hear people say, ah, ah. If we say we are going to be having prayer and fasting, some people say, ah, as if we want to punish them. Why do we fast and pray? Why do we pray? Is a topic we are starting with today. And our anchor scripture is Acts of the Apostles. I love that scripture, chapter 12, 1 to 13. That scripture really explained the purpose for the power of prayer. It really shows us the power of prayer. Acts chapter 12, from verse 1 to verse 13. I read, now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex something of the church. And he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And because he saw, sorry, and because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleaving bread. Now, after he successfully killed James, he saw that the enemies of the church were rejoicing. You know, they were rejoicing. Ah, after all, they have killed Apostle uh, James. Now, the Bible says he now went forward. He went further to now do what? To place his hands and arrested Peter as well. Now, after he arrested Peter, we're in verse 4. And when he had apprehended him, the Bible says he put him in prison and delivered him to four quadrums of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Verse 5. Peter, therefore, was Kept in prison. But look at verse that 5b. But prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God. Now, on season prayer, prayer was made without rest. The church began to pray. That's, that's what they call prayer without ceasing. Prayer without stop was made on his behalf. So why do we pray? Now, according to this scripture we read in Acts chapter 12, of one to three. If, if you look at that verse five very well, pay attention to verse five. We pray because we pray because we realize how limited we are without the help of the unlimited God. We pray because we realize how limited we are without the help of the unlimited God. If somebody asks you why do we pray, we pray because we have limitations. Hallelujah. We pray because we what? We have limitations. But we serve a God that is not limited. A God that cannot be stopped. We pray because we can be stopped. We are humans. We can be stopped. Without the helping hand of God, we can't go far. We pray because we, we understand that uh, 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 without God's help, there are certain things that cannot happen. You know why the church prayed here? They prayed when they suddenly discovered that, ah, ah, we thought that James cannot be killed, though they killed James. We didn't know that James can be killed, though. We didn't know that, that can up, they can take James just like that. Though. So for the first time, the disciples discovered that they were limited. Now, and I want to tell you this truth. Every man is limited without the help of God. If you don't have access to God's help, you are limited. So what is prayer? Prayer is a call for divine intervention in the affairs of men. Now, what is prayer? 
a call for what? Divine intervention. You know, I love when I was coming up, I love action movies. In fact, most of the movies I watch so much, I watch fighting movies, war films. You will see that when the militaries, or the militaries uh, uh, are fighting on the floor, they call them the infantry. They are the ones on the ground. They are the ones fighting with guns. When they fight to a point and it looks as if the enemy is overpowering them and it's like the enemy is pressing towards them, they will make a call. They will radio and call the Air Force. Now, the Air Force are those that fight from the air. They will begin to call them. There is an emergency. We need your intervention. The enemies are marching towards our direction. Air strike is needed. Air strike is needed. Air strike is needed. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Air strike. And all of a sudden, you just notice that once they start to, to, to come, the, the, the aircraft will begin to come. The fighter jets, they begin to throw bombs from place to place. You know, shoot missiles. Before you know it, then it will become easy for the ground soldiers to penetrate the enemy. So we pray because we need the intervention. If we have what it takes to settle 2023 without the epping hand of God, we don't, I don't think we need to pray. But we don't have it. Without the hand of God, what can we do? We are limited without the hands of God. I wrote here, the mother of James, that's the mother, the mother of James, the killing of James, the apostles, made the leaders of the church realize that they were limited. Now, they discovered that they could be arrested. They, they discovered that they could be killed. So prayer is a call for divine attention. The church suddenly realized that King Herod was more stronger than them in the natural. That was their realization. And if you look at the economy of our nation now, you will know that we need God. For us to have a glorious 2023, who do we need? We need God. How far can we go? Because it's the same people, sets of people that are recycling themselves to go up. Now, let's look at the candidates that are coming out for presidency. Obi has been what? A governor before. Uh, 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 Tinumbu has been what? A governor before. Atiku has become what? Vice president before. So, there is nobody new. There is no new person coming up there to say, okay, I have a new plan. All of them have ruled before. Will be ruled for eight years as governor. Uh, 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 Atiku ruled as a vice president for eight years. What else again? Uh, Tinumbu ruled as Lagos State governor for eight years. In fact, he, in his own case, even went for sending. There is nothing new. So there is none of them that is coming with a new idea. To me, it's the same set of people that we are recycling. We need God. For us to have a glorious 2023, who do we need? We need God. That's why we pray. That's why we, are, we, we were told to fast. Why do we pray? We have answered the first question. We pray because what? We realize how limited we are without the help of the unlimited God. We realize how limited we are with, you know, without the help of the, uh, the limited God. I remember during the COVID, there was this particular day towards the the, the end of the COVID. You know, we are coming close. The lockdown was much. And that time I needed some financial assistance. So I was praying, Lord, the COVID is heavy. We need financial provision. You know, as I was praying for, for you to know that divine intervention is what we need. Somebody that I can't remember the last time the person called me. Since the person have traveled, anytime the person calls me, the person calls me, just to greet me. Papa, I just said I should greet you. He just called. He said, sir, please, can I have your account number? And I said, eh, it has never happened before. So I sent my account number to him. Within the twinkling of an eye, before I could close my eyes to so open my eyes, you know, the money he sent at that time was like, ah, heaven came down. A hundred thousand naira during COVID. He said, sir, this is just my own, uh, what did they call that thing that governors gave during COVID? Uh, Eh? Palliative. This is my own palliative to you. Ah! Palliative will lay mad out. Now, can you imagine how far God went? The country where the person is, it requires two days' flight to get there. You have to travel by air for two days to get there. Without calling him, 
without asking for help. I was only praying, oh Lord, oh Lord, we need you. And the person just called me around that time. I pray in the name of Jesus, the Lord will intervene concerning your case too in the name of Jesus. Listen, let's go deeper. How did the church pray? Let's answer the second question. We have seen the second one, the first one. Why do we pray? How did the church pray in order to win God's attention? So that we can learn how to pray. How did the church pray in order to win God's attention? That's in verse 5. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison. But prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God. How did the church pray? The church prayed without ceasing. Now, which means that they didn't give up. They didn't say, okay, we'll pray only in the morning. They were praying consistently. Now, how should we pray for the coming year? We need what I call it chain prayer. I call it non-stop prayer. This shows us that the prayer that prayer should not be an occasional thing. Let it not be once a while. Yes, those things that you have, you have as dreams, as plans for 2023, have you prayed about them? How often have you been praying about them? How often have you been praying about those things? It's not just, oh yeah, ulua, ulua, oh Lord, oh Lord, deliver Peter. They stop. No, no, the Bible says they prayed without stopping. They didn't stop. They were praying consistently. They were praying continuously. One prayer point. Deliver Peter, oh God. 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 And God showed up. That's how to pray. Hallelujah. I didn't hear you. This shows us that when we pray, there will be what? Supernatural intervention. Sorry. No, I'm not yet there. Sorry. This, is, this shows us that prayer should be without, uh, sorry, should, should not be an occasional thing. Not something you do once a while. Something you should always do. Like as we have started today now. Praying for January. Don't stop. Make it a consistent thing. Do you know that I discovered this about God? Everything you pray about, hear me, you receive grace to enter. Most of the things I'm enjoying this year, we prayed about it on our family altar. I remember when we were trusting God for a second car. Lord, we are trusting you. Lord, we, we, in our family altar, we told reasons. Okay, you know, our children, we told them, you know, we need this one for this thing. We need this, you know, at times, your mommy is going like this. Me, I'm going this way. You know, and we cannot be waiting for ourselves. Can we agree? We agreed. We continue to pray every morning. And God gave us. So prayer should be done without what? Without ceasing. Let's go to question number three. When they prayed, what happened? Let's read on from verse six. And when... Herod would have brought him forth. The same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keeper before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side, and raised him up quickly, saying, Arise, quickly, and his chains fell off from his hands. Verse 8. And the angel said unto him, Guide thyself, and bide on thy sanders. And so he did. And he said unto him, Cast thy garments about thee, and follow me. And he went out, and followed him, and wixed not that it was true, which was done by the angels. But thought he saw a vision. He himself was thinking that what was happening to him was a vision. Verse 10. When they were past the first and the second world, they came unto the iron gate that leaded unto the city, which opened to them of his own accord, and they went out and passed on through the streets and fought the angel departed. When they prayed, what happened? 
Listen, an angel came down to do what man could not do. This shows us that when we pray, there will be supernatural intervention over what no man has capacity to do. Hello? Are you here? When we pray, what happens? There will be supernatural intervention. It is not everything you need that man has capacity to do for you. When we pray, there will be supernatural intervention. God will, if there is nobody around, God can send angels. Say, I believe. I didn't hear you. Say, I believe. If there is nobody around, God can send angels. You know, I was sharing with you the th uh, testimony. I said, I have a target that the school under my watch at the level, I had a target. I was praying, Lord, and why did we start school there? We were trying, well, it's for evangelism. Looking for means to bring people into that estate so that they can notice the church. So I was telling the Lord, Lord, I'm trusting you. Do you know that even when we, go, we finished mid-term, mid-term, we finished mid-term, I still had not gotten the number I was trusting God for. It was after mid-term. In fact, I sat on Monday, this Monday, this today is Thursday, on Monday I still receive a new student. That the parent was asking, sir, how do we pay school fees? What will be the, the how will you do it? Since we have just three weeks to end the term, how do we do it? I say, your child, you know, your child wants to do it. We'll do an exam now. I pick the exam. I still receive two new students. I mean, now making three. One in basic four. One in, uh, in nursery two. One in the crutch. Just three weeks to, to end the term. God is faithful. And if you keep asking them, some will just say, I just like how the school look. In fact, yesterday, I went to buy something and I was coming back. I was looking at the school from far. I said, how did they know that school is here? I was asking myself, what did they like about this? What? There is no sign that school is church that I'm looking at. We didn't do any painting, no signboard, no anything. How do they know that it is school that is there? That they are saying they like how the school is. That's what we call supernatural intervention. Your 2023 shall be glorious. I say God will intervene for you. We are answering the question, when they prayed, what happened? There was a supernatural intervention when they prayed. This shows us that when we pray, there will be supernatural intervention over, over what no man has capacity to do. That's why I see. Stop thinking that, well, well, since I don't have anybody that can help me in that direction, I don't think that thing will be possible. Don't be thinking like that. Even if you don't have anybody in that direction, be praying. It does not cost God anything eh, to raise somebody. I come again. It does not cost God anything to raise somebody. Even if there's nobody you know, just keep praying and keep making moves. I have one more question before we pray. Hallelujah. Why is it that some people pray today and still do not have answers like that of Peter? Very powerful question. I will answer it too. Why is it that some people pray today and still do not have answers like that of Peter? Hear me. The answer is clear. Whatsoever is not done in faith does not reach God. Can I come again? Whatsoever is not done in faith does not reach God. I have come to discover from experience and from counselings. Do you know that I discovered that people pray from, from fear? Whatsoever is not done in faith doesn't reach God. You know, haven't you seen people when an uh, accident or anything want to happen to you? Jesus! They shouted not because they believed. They shouted because they just felt there's no option. Who can we call now? Whatsoever is not done in faith does not reach God. Even if you are praying and faith is not the springboard, forget it. Your prayer cannot reach God. 
Now, what are the kinds of faith you need to have? I put it in four categories. Number one, believe that God hears you the moment you start praying, even if you have not seen him. Log on to bat soccer ni uru ko jesu. Bagokwe ulu angbo. The moment you say, Father in Jesus, believe. Don't wait until you see God. Some of you will say, Ah, in fact, I don't feel it. That that prayer I pray, me, ni feeling prayer do a yengba. Uti yi a do a yengba already. Oh, ni lati feel. Oh, kon ni lati bagbon. Show me Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. You know, we treated Hebrews 11, 6 last month. And when, uh, sorry, and Hebrews 11, 6, not Acts 12, 11. Hebrews 11 and verse 6. He said, but without faith, this is not where I'm going to. It's impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must what? Must believe that one he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So you, the first foundation of the kind of faith that will move God to answer your prayers, to, to make your prayers reach him, is that you must believe that he hears you. Don't say, hello, baba, ejo, shengbo, umi, shengbo. That's doubt. He hears you. I remember I used to have a dog. That dog lived with us for 14 years before he died. I used to boast about that dog to my friends when they come around. I say, look at my dog. If I call the dog, it will come. The name of the dog is Tina. If I say, Tina, come, he will come. Tina, shake me. He will bring his hand. He will shake me. Tina, peck me. It will kiss me on my cheek. Tina, come and hug me. It will jump and hug me. It lived with us to the point that he started hearing her voice. We used to send him, Tina, go and call Joy. That's my younger sister. It will go, bite the skirt, and be pulling her to where I am. So, are you, anytime my friends come around, I used to tell them, I can send my dog around. Say, it's a lie. I so much believe. So, and if, you see, if somebody says, if you say, Tina, catch him. Kai. You better run. It will chase you. When that dog died, we, in our family, we cry. We cry. He didn't die until we all woke up. We didn't know what happened to him in, uh, to the dog in the night. It was just screaming and screaming. It will run to the door. It will run to the gate. It will run to the door. It will run to the gate. And was just barking and barking from 12 midnight. So around 6 a.m., we had the courage to come out. As we all came out, we stood, up, stood around. Tina, what is it? What is it? It just came to our mix. He saw, make sure that all of us gathered, came to our mix, lay down, and died. That day in our family, we didn't eat. If we could boast of an animal like that, a dog, God heareth us. Mama Badu Akoma okay, show show for long, go by. Toba okay, show show bosha, uti yid, at uti yid, do I end and fry. On diet number two, listen. Always believe that you have what you ask. Always believe that you have. Tobatik Badua, Ulua, Shibai for me, Dabotiba. Because, see, without faith, your prayers cannot reach God. Without faith, your answers cannot reach you. Why was the church praying when Herod was fighting? They believe in God's ability to deliver Peter. I also want you to believe in God's ability to settle your 2023. You will not die in 2023. What's the third thing that, you sh that shows that you have faith? You must believe that you don't, sorry, that you don't wait to take physical possession. You shouldn't wait to take physical possession 
before you agree that you have what you have asked for in prayer. That's the third thing you must. Some of you will say, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Did you hear me? You begin to give thanks the moment you are through with praying. That's another dimension of faith. You have prayed, though, you have not seen anything, but you believe you have seen, and you are saying, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I'm grateful. Ah, Lord, I give you all the glory. Ah, you are worthy to be praised, oh God. That's the highest dimension of faith. So tonight, I won't take your time. We have about 30 minutes to close the service. We are going to pray. And the prayers we are praying, we are throwing it into our January. What's prayer point number one? You say, my January 2023 is blessed in the name of... You will begin to bless January 2023. Wait, wait. You will still stand up to pray. I'm at the day, but January 2023, me, Odi, Oshu, Ibo, Konfumi, is blessed. The 31 days of the month, you speak the blessing to the 31 days of, this, of the month of January. You decree it by faith and believe it will happen. The same way Peter walked towards them, that's how your miracle will walk to you. Now be on your feet. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. Shagada say. Now this is the four month I receive. Hear me. After we have prayed, look up everybody. The Bible says, believe the Lord your God, you shall be established. Believe in his prophet, what will happen? You will prosper. After we have prayed, we all will put our offerings as seed on the altar. You put your seed of January. You have 1,000, you have 500, you have 200. Just go, you, Lord, I'm sowing towards January. When we come to fast and pray tomorrow, you, go, you sow your seed for February. Settle the months in God's presence. Are you set? Say my January 2023 is blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we begin to pray? Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. Begin to prophesy. My January 2023 is blessed in the name of Jesus. Lord, I speak to my January. Rabba, Sataya, and Gadaba. You shall not be a troublous month for me. You shall be a blessed month. A blessed man. Ragada basanda yara. Shagada baskanda. Begin to pray. You are blessed. January 1 to January 31st. You are blessed. You are blessed for me. In the name of Jesus. Begin to speak the word of prophecy. Begin to prophesy. My January is blessed. 2023 is blessed. The month of January in 2023 is blessed for my sake. In my business, I am blessed. My ministry, January is blessed. In my family, January is blessed. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. And amen. Take number two. You see, say after me, say, I declare that the month of January 2023 is my month for, of, of smooth takeoff. <laughs> Excuse me. Smooth takeoff. It shall be smooth for me. You know, normally people say January is a very hard month, but not for me. Say, not for me. That's why so many people believe, yeah, January man, they go, ah, woman, difficult. I tell you, school son. Ah, ati ati jeun gan. Ah, ati san wole. Koni ribe e foun yo. See, I declare that the month of January 2023 is my month of smooth takeoff in the name of Jesus. Ah, open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray. My takeoff is smooth. In January 2023, it shall not be a difficult month. Not a difficult month. Not a difficult month. Begin to pray for yourself. Ragada basoto yenge de mos. Regada basata. Shagada ba. Begin to pray. Not a difficult month. January 2023. You are not going to be a difficult month for me. In the name of Jesus. Are you praying this month, this evening? Begin to pray. That's why you are fasted today. 
begin to tell the Lord Ragada basi kilebos Ranga yada basi Shagada basata ya Lingu yada ba Bayagada basi Begin to pray 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 Thank you Father In Jesus name we have prayed Take number 3 Say January 2023 Shall not be hard Shall not be hard it shall be easy for me. Shall we begin to pray? In the name of Jesus. January 2023. Shall not be hard. In the name of Jesus. It shall be easy for me. It shall be easy for me. It shall be smooth for me. Kuni limami. Loru ko jesu. Oyak badua. January onile. Rabba sata yanga da baskine. Shagada baskanda yaraba. Raka yaraba skindere. Yaka yaraba sata Lege de bosende Shagadaba Ringo yaraba Basata yagadaba Begin to pray 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 Father Lord It shall not be difficult for me In the name of Jesus Thank you Father In Jesus name we have prayed And amen Do you know That I was telling my, my wife and my children this morning there is nowhere that is safe in Nigeria again, naturally. Only God protects his own. One of us was sharing a, tes a testimony how she escaped from the hands of kidnappers just yesterday. Now, how did they, was she kidnapped? She ordered Uber. It was Uber she ordered. And it was the kidnappers that responded. She said that she entered, they entered with her. Collected our phones. We drew the whole two million in naira in our account. But thank God she was not killed. So as she was speaking with us, we were praying for her. We are going to pray. You tell the Lord, I reject whatsoever trouble the wicked has prepared for me in January. I reject it. In the name of Jesus, shall we begin to pray? Begin to pray. Lord, I reject whatsoever evil the wicked has prepared for me in January. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I reject it. Lord, I reject it. Lord, I reject it. I reject it. Me and my household shall not suffer evil. We shall not partake in any kind of evil event in January in Jesus' name. We will not fall to the hands of kidnappers. We will not fall to the hands of ritualists. Begin to pray for yourself. Ringada basata, ringuliada ba, basata yanga da baskene, leguliada basanda yara. Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? In the name of Jesus, continue to talk to the Lord. The sons of wickedness shall not succeed. They shall not succeed. Barregada basoto in their plans against me. In January, O oh God, they will not be able to carry out their plan. They will not be able to carry out their plan. They will not be able to carry out their plan. Are you praying for yourself? Are you praying for yourself? Are you praying for yourself? Begin to tell the Lord. Begin to tell the Lord. Begin to tell the Lord. Are you praying? 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed and amen. We are going to pray. You know, election is in February, I think. Now, by January, the... Uh, publicity of election will be very, very high. Now, that is the time you see that those that want to win election at all costs will be coming up all out. And you know how they distribute ammunition and things like that during those times. You are going to pray that protect me and my family from stray bullets. What is number one? Stray bullets from the hands of ritualists, from the hands of kidnappers, and from all forms of evil. Preserve my family in January, oh God. Shall we begin to pray? Let's begin to pray. Lord, I pray for myself and my family. Father, preserve us from stray bullets in the name of Jesus. Preserve us from the hands of political talks in the name of Jesus. Preserve us, oh God. Ragadabase from all forms of evil in the name of Jesus. Lord, may we enjoy perfect 
our protection in January. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray for yourself. Are you praying? Are you praying? Lord, preserve my January. Preserve my January. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. And amen. You know, in January, people will be returning from their traveling. Oh, those that travel to do Christmas, celebrate the new year, everybody wants to be returned. You are going to pray. Father, preserve me and my family from every form of accident in January. Lord, may, may news of accidents never come near my household. Shall we begin to pray? See, delay me in the month of January. Begin to pray. Throw those prayers into January right now. Father, you will help me. You will help my family. In the name of Jesus, Father Lord, all the uh, Lord, I pray, protect us from all forms of accident. Is it fire accident? Is it car accident? Is any kind of accident, Lord? Father, protect us. 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. You are going to pray, Father, drive the attention of robbers far from me. It was it is in January, la only no man sari kiri and want it be want it no one December. One my way into my sari da one my will little masari rock was of more lorum. Ulu a double boy me it delay me at young boboti money low ogunle ogun agbe ne pa oya so di adura begin to pray in the name of Jesus, Father Lord, protect me. And my family from robbery attack, from the attacks of 419ers in January, in the name of Jesus, you will preserve us, O God. You will protect us, O God. Are you praying? Are you praying? Rabba Sataya Ngarabaske. Begin to pray for God's protection, adequate protection from the throne of grace, adequate protection from the throne of grace, adequate protection from the throne of grace in the name of Jesus thank you father in Jesus name we have prayed and amen take the next one you are going to say I connect for supernatural provision throughout January I will not be broke I connect for supernatural provision throughout January 2023 Lord I will not be broke shall we begin to pray let's begin to pray Father, I connect for supernatural provision throughout January 2023. I will not be broke, oh God. I will not be broke, oh God. I will not be broke, oh God. Begin to pray. The Bible says when multitude are saying, there's a casting down for them. Then shall I arise and say, there is a lifting up for me. Lord, I will not be broke. In January 2023, Lord, there shall be abundant supernatural provision for me. Begin to pray. There shall be abundant supernatural provision for me. Begin to pray. Ragada basanda yara. Balingu yara basendele. Regada basata yagada baskene. Begin to pray for yourself. 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 Abundant provision for me. Abundant provision for me. Abundant provision for me. Abundant provision for me. Are you praying? Are you talking to the Lord? In January, oh God, I will not be stranded. I will not be broke, oh God. Ringada basata yara. Begin to pray for yourself. Basata yagada baske. Shagada basanda yara. Begin to pray. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. And if you are going to pray against the spirit of the waster, you say, Lord, may the spirit of error to commit blunder never possess me. You know, if the devil wants to waste the year, he spoils the foundation. Hello, me, eh? Just like, uh, uh, we'll see, pray one prayer after this one. You pray for yourself, Lord, that the spirit of error to commit blunder will not come upon me. Because if you go and start January with blunder, you may pay debt all your life, all through the year. Looking on Lord, she may say, Lord, she, you know, some, somebody was sharing how he went to use his ATM somewhere. He said he got home and the next thing started seeing a lot. They were debiting him. 300,000. 
Onishisheu. May you always follow. And you know what it means? Well, why people go into error? It's because they don't follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. May the spirit of error to commit blunder never succeed to influence me in January. Shall we begin to pray? Begin to pray. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Father, help me. The spirit of error to commit blunder. May it not succeed to influence me in January, O God. And me she 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 she. Olu amaju badly mean January. Olu a shano for me. Olu a shano for me. Olu a shano for me. Oh yak badura for I ah legerebos. And me to mo yon she she. Tio a bow do jefunyo. Olu amaju badly mean January. Oh yak badua. Oh yak badua. In the name of Jesus. Ringa da basada. Ranga ya da baskini. Ringu ya da ba. Basata ya gada basata ya gada. Ringu ya da ba. Begin to pray for yourself. 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed and amen. We are going to pray. You say, I reject every demonic expenses to put me in trouble in January. Now look up. You know what they call demonic expenses? The devil just creates a problem that will now affect you throughout the year. It happened to me this year. After we finished the crossovers night, I just didn't say it in church. The crossover night, you know, I parked here waiting for the covenant service in the morning. And around about uh, 3 a.m. or so, or one, 1 o'clock. Was it 1? No. We finished about 3 a.m. A kekena pep rider, tricycle rider, heavily drunk, just drove into my car. Be the car moved. He was heavily drunk. The door completely destroyed. Then he started begging. I said, "Okay, you have begged. Will you repair the? Door? Will you buy the door?" They said, "If it's repairable, we that same 3 a.m." We called uh, a panel, panel beta. The panel beta came. He said, sir, this door is condemned. Completely condemned. I said, okay. His family members came. And he's from a wealthy family. Soldiers came from his family. They came that night. Police officers came. They were asked. They all said they were together. They didn't know how he left. They were now asking him, what took you to Liberty Road? He said he doesn't know. He was going to Mokola. What did you come to do at Liberty Road from a young grandma? He himself said he doesn't know. So they started pleading. I said, okay, you know what? You buy the door, I'll be responsible for every other thing. I didn't know that every other thing, the money of every other thing, swallowed the money of the door. So they gave the, the, the panel bitter called Gates, they gave him money for a, 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 another door. It was when they brought the door, we discovered that as the tricycle hit the vehicle and the vehicle moved, so many of the shafts had disconnected. Then we discovered that electric car too had issues. We discovered that to paint that door alone, I think I spent about 15000 or so. Most of the things I gather in December that I say have well, uh, uh, Merry Christmas, uh, Merry Christmas, uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, I eventually ended up spending almost 80,000 naira. It was a bad beginning. But I couldn't call them back. How much did they buy door? They bought door for 27,000. I mean, I eventually spent 80K. So you have to learn to use your mouth to reject demonic expenses. We were still thanking God. Ah, thank God, oh, thank God, oh. Ja January we left. We were starting the second half on my birthday, July. We were, you know, January, second half, Tumberen in July. We were driving home. A copper and his wife, they are learners. I didn't know. They just drove into the same door. Ah! Into the same door. I came down. I said again, what is it? 
the copper was wearing copper's uniform. The wife was also sitting down and he was in there. Come down now. Come down. I discovered they are a young couple. Will I take copper to go and buy dough? They were begging. I said, okay, go. Thinking that it was something small. Oh. We started all over again. All the money I, I had in my savings, I spent on that same door. I look at the car and I said to my wife, do we sell this car now? Thank God we didn't sell the car. So there could be demonic expenses to cause distraction. It won't be your portion in January. You know, if you have a smooth takeoff, God told me, I wrote down, this, the month of February, we are praying tomorrow, is a month of next level. Moving to the, move to the next level. That February 2022, I move to the next level. You, you won't be stagnant. The month of March is the month of open doors. Because that was the month that the grave the, opened. Jesus came up. So what am I saying? We're going to say, in chapter me in January, I reject every demonic expenses. The devil will not succeed to cause expenses for me. Shall we begin to pray? Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Pray into your January. In the name of Jesus. I can't hear your voice. I can't hear your voice. I reject every demonic orchestrated expenses. The devil will not succeed to create expenses for me. In the name of Jesus. I will not spend my money, Lord, my resources into areas and things I don't like that I will not be happy about. Begin to pray. My resources will not be spent in the direction that will not give me joy. Begin to pray. Are you talking to the Lord? Are you talking to the Lord? Help me. Help me, Lord, that the devil will not succeed to cause trouble for me. And I will begin to spend my resources. My children will not be sick. My wife will not be sick. I myself will not be sick in January. Begin to pray. My family members will not be sick. Ah, but sick that do Oluwa, one nisha is on the limit of him as okay. Can for one share or yak badua regada basata yara begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Rima santa yara rabasata yagada baskine lego yara begin to pray, 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 begin to pray. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Think we have two more. Second to the last, you will decree. You say in the name of Jesus, I send angels ahead into January 2023. Clear the way for me. So that January 2023 shall be a, a month I will enjoy. In the name of you, begin to pray. Begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, I send you forth. Angels, go ahead of me into 2023 January. Begin to clear the way. me. Begin to clear the way. Clear the way. Remove evils from the way. In the name of Jesus. Remove evils from the way. In the name of Jesus. Let the month be a month I will enjoy. A month I will enjoy. A month I will be happy about. Are you praying? Are you praying? Ragadaba Santaya and Gadabase. Reguliaraba Shagadaba Sandaira. Begin to pray. 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 Begin to talk to the Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Then finally, we are going to do what I taught you now. You will thank God for January. You say, Lord, I thank you for January 2023. Oh God. January 1, 2023 to January 31st, 2023. Very smooth for me. My takeoff is smooth. I thank you, oh God. I believe that you have done it by faith. I am grateful for 2023 January, oh God. I give you all the glory for 2023 January, oh God. Be exalted, be exalted, be exalted, be exalted, be exalted, be exalted, be exalted. Rabba Sataya Gada. I thank you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. I honor you, Lord. I adore you, Lord. I magnify you, Lord. I give you all the glory, Lord. I give you all the worship, Lord. Reba sata yagada baskini, basata yagada basanda yara, shagada baseke lebuskini. Begin to thank Him in advance. Thank Him in advance. Thank Him in advance. 
Over my health, I thank you in January. Over my family, I thank you in January. Over this ministry, Gospel Evangelical Mission, I thank you in January. Over the schools, Gospel Kids Academy, I thank you in January. Over for me, business ventures, I thank you in January. Over for me, farms, I thank you in January. Rebo Sataya, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. I am grateful, O oh God. Be thou exalted. 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 In Jesus' name we have prayed. Lift up a covenant seed for January. Lift it up. A covenant seed for, for January. Using it to connect for the happenings, for the move of God in January. That's what you cast on the altar as I pray for you. Father, we thank you for what you have done already, for what has been settled. Father, we give you all the glory because January 2023 is settled already in your presence in Jesus' name. It shall be a month we shall rejoice, a month we shall celebrate for good on every side, O oh God. Thank you for this you have done. I set our covenant seed. Thank you for making the month glorious. In Jesus' precious name, we are prayed and amen. Hallelujah. Now, those of you online, this is how you do.